What's up guys, it's me Useless Girl and I'm back with another Mass Effect 2 playthrough. If you like it, you know what to do. The pictures I take can be found on my Tumblr account, link in the description below. Okay, so after a very strong start, we continue this exciting intro of the game without any further ado. So let's go! <clears throat> okay. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you, is founded and controlled by Cerberus. We know about Cerberus from the first game, they uh, did illegal genetic research and experiments, so they are shady as hell. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Okay, you done? Okay, touchpad doesn't work anymore or at this moment. Okay, let's just save. Going that way then? We've been spotted. Do that. Get over here. Okay, is that still learning the? New stuff. Okay, we can go up there or there. No map available yet. They've seen us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. Whoa. What's with the gun? Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Oh my god. Uh. What? What, 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 what? down here right no okay so first I have to <sighs> it changed them uh... was it this yes What's up there? Well, not much choice here. This takes longer. But we need the money. these little information bits learning about what happened to Shepard and what they did to him here come on through here we're almost at the Miranda whoa you were Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I knew it. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. 
Okay, yes. Done here. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you, if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Okay. No points yet. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. We are taking a picture with her. By the way, I love the actress who plays her, so thank you, guest. I will try to romance her once that will be available. I know I have Liara, but these, this, I mean, <clears throat> this is a really good way putting this two years absence into uh, the story to like restart everything uh either rekindle uh past relationships uh, like with the one you might have chosen in the first game or it's a really good reason uh to break it off i mean for shepherd uh these two years didn't really happen if you think about it it's like uh, there was the attack against the Normandy and uh, boom, he just woke up uh, in this facility and probably his feelings didn't change but you can uh, explain that away with yes, they changed because he was like literally put together from scratch <laughs> and so he might have changed the feelings might have changed. You can tell yourself that. It's. I think it's a viable option. 
or uh, explanation. So I love how the game opens up these new possibilities and gives you also the not excuses but reasons why you can do that. This is like really good writing here, I think. And uh, game development and whatnot. So yeah, I like that. Let's use this filter, I rarely use filters. Okay. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Oh. Select the clothing you will be wearing on the Normandy. Well, this, I don't think this really matters here. Whoa, whoa, lovely. Ooh, this is so much better than in the first game. You can go crazy with this. Wow. <gasps> Ooh. I love purple, by the way. This blue is blue and purple, and the, this night looks nice. Shiny, super shiny. This is so cool. <gasps> wow. This is really good. I can even wow this is so cool okay I, I, I'm gonna stop saying that but I hope I can like change this all the time ooh he looks so badass let's keep this one in mind Ooh, this is good as well. Oh my god, I cannot decide. 
Don't give me such options game. We will be here all night, night and day and week and wow. Um, how about this? Or this? This is a nice contrast. Let's let's stick with this for now. Apply. Casual appearance. Oh, cool. We have other options. Oh, this reminds me of the Empire. Somehow. From Star Wars. Wow! Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> this is like Duke Nukem or I don't know. Which one do I like the most? He has some arms. I kinda like this casual one. It's better than this. Okay, let's go with this. We are looking pretty. This goes with his blue eyes. Oh, so this is like the locker. I thought that this is like a door. This is cool. We can we can always change it up. I like this. I like this really, 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 really much. Sorry, I'm excited about customization. That's one part of my this. That's one of my favorite parts of a game. It's like, what the heck? Oh, nice. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. This man reminds me of that blue-eyed man from Cyberpunk 2077. Maybe there's like a connection or that guy is a nod to this game since of course this is like older, way older. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. 
Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, oh, sorry. you need to mobilize They suffered substantial... Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Very elusive trophy. Return to active duty. Ha 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 ha! can sprint! Or go really slowly. <clears throat> the elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. 
I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. <laughs> Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Okay. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay, I don't know if that was my headphones or a glitch in the game. I didn't hear anything for a few seconds, but now it's okay. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Okay, I think that's all. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Mission complete. Oh, so such tiny texts, even with my glasses on, I cannot really read it. There shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. 
We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. I miss the Normandy. Okay, too, too, too dark for this. Creepy music. Everything. Oh, this is like a horror like movie. Everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, no signs of battle. What the heck are you? Those men should have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Don't you remember? Right there. Frozen. 
You said you'd let me handle this. <gasps> Wait. Tully. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Wow, she really matured in these last few years. She's like not that naive little girl anymore. She's like has balls. I like that. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people infiltrated our flotilla and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's oh. not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Take care. Incoming. He goes. Whoa, whoa. Excuse me. Whoa. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even see this. Whoa. It's a little trickier with a controller than with a mouse, let me tell you. So, so no, that's just the building. Use overload on him. Overload. Dying, I'm dying. Target down. Shepard, Praza and his 
squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. Okay, I need ammo. Like that. Do I still... What what's that? What what's that? Is that the mad thing, the healing? This is too quiet. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Perfect. Enemy down. Okay, let's. The overload. There we go. Enemy down. Sorry, Shepard. We are inside the loading docks. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. They uh -oh. didn't want to get to. <gasps> Finally. Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. What? What, 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 what? Where, where, where? Aha, okay. Going now. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. On it. Taking cover! We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Oh no. Oh no. I only have one. Will it come or. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. <sighs> On it. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Yeah, yeah. Heading to cover. Oh, no. Oh. That max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. <laughs> Overload will take out their shields. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. No, not there. Project Crate. Taking fire. Go! Ugh! Can she, like, uh... Rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. Flashbang grenade. I 
I better accelerate to your head, give me a sense of that. Okay. Armor. Use it. Uh, R1, Unity. some loot. Okay, cool. Let me just check the time. We still have a few minutes left. Can I try it again? Okay, I learned from that. This looks interesting. Okay, cool. New stuff. That way. Yep, that's our way, I think. So we are going to first check around. Thanks. Whoa. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Okay. Sorry, guys. Please get out of the way. Monsters coming back. Mex will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why 
Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Okay. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni-Tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Okay, guys, I have to end this video here because I'm running out of time. So... Wait... You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Okay, now I have to end this, guys. Uh, I only have like one and a half minutes left. So I hope you enjoyed like I did, because this is like so much better than the first game. Um, and hopefully I will see you in the next one, where we... Uh, continue from here. Uh, if you liked it, please consider leaving a like, commenting, or even subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, goodbye and peace.